All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. That being said, let's just get down to it. Um, I uploaded some uh, cooking shorts on my channel, and apparently y'all like them, so I'm going to see about doing more of them. Um, you know, I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to do it. I need to, um, I, I don't know if you all would want, um, full videos or just shorts or, you know, but I'm kind of a one man show here. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to figure out what to do, like maybe get a tripod for my phone or something like that and get set up. So, you know, I will do more cooking videos. It's just because y'all seem to really like them. And I thank you all for watching them. You know, I do enjoy cooking. I really do. You know, I cook more nowadays than I used to. I used to, when I was younger, I used to live on the frozen foods, but nowadays I, I cook. I cook and it's just so satisfying. It really is. It really is. Damn, we know summer's coming because my skin's starting to peel. There we go. All right. Let's get down to it. I think today we're going to go deal with the apartment at the Citadel. What I'm thinking we're going to do. We might see what Ashley's doing, and we might see what Tally's doing. We just took down a Reaper without a giant thresher, Mar. Help, Commander. Admiral yeah, Hackett right. is available in the war room on VidCon. Okay, Diana wants to. Get an interview. In our cabin, looks like. And then the Quarians say take care of Tally, okay. And Tally wants to um see us in engineering. Okay. And I guess we need to talk to Admiral Hackett. Getting a little lag here. There we go. I need to lower you a little bit. There we go. There we go. Commander. Nope. Something on your mind? Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Okay. I thought maybe you wanted to talk to us about the Quarians. Guess not. Guess not. So, I sort of understand why they got rid of the lab. The Alliance got rid of the lab. Um, I, I do understand why. Because they wouldn't need it for the war. You mean Sophie? I think she's cute. What purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Look how long I've been with you. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. 
How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. All right. Now, we need to... I do want to talk to Garrus and um, Ashley, see what they want. And it probably wouldn't hurt to see Javik, too. He's on the other side, I think. The only conflict you should concern yourself with, you are proving that humans are capable soldiers. Diplomacy, but I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between us. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, Let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. Okay. We have any upgrades we'll check while we're down here but i don't think we do shepherd never a dull moment when the normandy's on tour is there any word from palavan some and i don't like what i'm hearing the krogan are there in force but they're just slowing the reapers down not stopping them i'm not sure it's going to be enough you hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. I guess I can't argue with that. You managed peace between the Geth and the Corians. Maybe there is another way. Damn right. Damn right. And then, where? Oh, there it is. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends. There's still too many wounds on either side, but maybe one day. 
Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Yeah, I didn't think I had any upgrades. All right. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Oh yeah, that's right, isn't there? Okay. Impressed you got those two groups together. Okay, so then we need to go up the cabin. We can talk to Diana. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies? And no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not gonna turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... <laughs> So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? It's easy enough to do later. I've got a good lead, and I know how to finish. I just need the right body. If that's what you want, let's lock that door. Well, we can't talk about this. The crew can't know. I am my credibility and reputation. If word gets out that I got too close to a source, then I'm done. I'll make sure this stays just between us. Well, I can't refuse an exclusive. Neither can I. <laughs> Commander Shepard the Poon Hound. <laughs> Let me see if Joker and Edie have anything to say too before we go. And I probably should check on James and Steve while I'm at it. And I need to upgrade the weapons. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanko was destroyed by a worm. 
This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Yes, Shepard? Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Okay. Now, we'll go down and talk to Steve and... James and look to see if I can upgrade the guns any because I need to upgrade the assault rifle and the sniper rifle I'm liking the new you Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little <sighs> Not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. Heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. All right. Do you... get you fully upgraded? We need the Black Widow. There. <laughs> and I just want to see what we got here. Seriously, I want that eel. Why not? Piercing mod, I definitely want. Nothing really. Weapon and headshot.
take the two shoulder guards. Why not? Okay, then I want to do what to do. Or I lose, but I get, oh, okay. Five, I get shield. Six, I get ammo. Seven, I get shield regeneration. Eight, I get power recharge. I don't need that. Nine, I get weapon damage. And... Okay, we get more ammo, boulders, get shield, power, headshot, melee, take shields, damage for you. There. I think that'll do. Okay, so now that we have everything upgraded, now we can head on out. Well, we're going to go to the apartment. That's what we're going to do this time. Okay. Now that we got everyone, this will make things easier, I think. Commander, I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, are we old enough? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, damn it. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Okay. So, you can go around and find all these, uh, biographies. The Normandy? The 
brand new ship. My ship. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. The whole crew looking to you for direction. You have received Unforgettable. a message. I've led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. To do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them, eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said, let's see what we can find. You would think with everything as advanced as it is, they could get they could get the air vents off the floor. That's the only thing I can't stand to houses nowadays. They put the vents on the floor and I just I hate that. to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting, and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. Sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Uh, that has to be... Uh, so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then, you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once, when they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could. That moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few, none of which I'd like to share. But uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you follow your heart over your mind? <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is... War isn't orderly. And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit, your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader, well, War tends to make examples of them. 
What makes a good leader, then? Mm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Okay. No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. My first real combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war. Strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle. And that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens. Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe. Now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were. About to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torian shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. Talk about your mama jokes. <laughs> okay. I have your new questions here. As a leader, do I ever feel that the end justify the means? Spirit of law over word of law. I'm not going to touch that with a ten-foot pole, but I think I know what you're after. You're referring to the way I, um, arranged to have the Normandy released to Commander Shepard before the Battle of the Citadel. I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, what we needed them to do. Saren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is, never being wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know. Okay. I do like how this apartment's set up, though. I, I really do. It looks really nice. Um, how many bedrooms does an apartment need, though? <laughs> you asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO, Eli Zander, was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Zander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but 
but it still ended with the Turian scientist in shackles and a human Turian fistfight at Korra's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. Okay. The Turians. <clears throat> mm, well, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Torians in the first contact war, years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Palavan. It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Turian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. And if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, tombstone data. Admiral David Edward Anderson. Not sure why anybody would be interested, but thanks for asking. Um, I was born in London, June eighth. 2137. The last of three children born to Ursula and Paul Anderson. A nurse and a flight mechanic, respectively. <sighs> but that's a little dry. And someone's gonna spice this up, right? <sighs> Never been much for the spotlight. Anyway, where was I? It was a second marriage for my parents. They were almost 50 by the time they had me. My mother worked shifts, so my father would often take me to the base. While he worked, I watched transport ships and fighters take off. Worked his whole life around space travel, my father. But he never left Earth. Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Don't put that in. Who is it, Kaylee? Oh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll get to the more interesting N7 stuff next time. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think we're ready to go into the office. We're gonna go have dinner at a sushi place. Never had, I've never had sushi. I, I wanna, I, I wish I knew somebody who knew what they were doing about sushi, you know?
Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Okay. Joker's taking us out on a date. He struck out with Edie, so now he's taking us out. Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like, French guy at the door, serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. And? <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. Uh, no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Com channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Man, I love show business. Spread out, boys. Find me Shepard. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it! Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Hey! <laughs> oh. You used me as bait? Go. You used me as bait? Did you see that? Savior of the Citadel used this brittle bones guy as bait. Brooks! Hang on! Damn, I took them all down without a problem. <laughs> really? There we go. Brooks, stay down! Shepard can't catch a break.
Yep. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. And now everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Position motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. So, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Mmm, guy. Fine. Might need a little backup. Thank the goddess. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but should reach you soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. In danger? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. I will attempt to register. Surprise. Always check for items. You never know. They might have upgrades. Like that. Found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the uh lockdown. Uh can you get through? I'll try to override. Make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cradle damage in the fall, Commander? Hey, Shepard, Brooks sent me to Navigate for the Skycar lot. I'll meet you there. 
there. Not the two snipers. Scenaries. They have guns that don't like me. That's not helpful. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. I do love this pistol. I really do. It's overpowered, man. Commander, there's a C-Sec shuttle inbound if you can get to the Skycar lot. Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. Oh, damn it. Having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. never remember where the control panel is. I think, yeah, here it is. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. That. What are you doing here? Uh, I just 
butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. No. Commander! Joker, you lost our ride. Where are you? I'm on my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Good to be back. Yeah! Commander, did c -Sec find you? Are you okay? Yes and no. Merc's in a C-Sec shuttle. What? A little busy right now. Right, sorry. We'll be there soon. Almost there, Commander. Hang on. Great place to fight it. Lots to destroy. Approaching your position, Commander. Just following the gunfire. Copy that. Sorry I'm late. Had to take the scenic route. Scenic route? We nearly crashed four times. Where the hell did you learn to drive? And Brooke says hi. Get to the shuttle. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the Medigel might make me jumpy. <laughs> Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the hour's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? Glad Liara's on this. 
If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Get over it, Joker. Get. During my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I'd think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. <laughs> Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Uh. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast farin leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right. You're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. 
Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Bleh. Looking good, Commander. Lean and mean. You know what they say about a sharp-dressed man. Oh, that reminds me. Anyone packing an Omni Blade? The tag on the inside of this dress is gonna kill me. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? Here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Ash. Time to meet the riffraff. I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly were you educated? Oh, online. You can take these courses and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft, but there's a problem. Can you meet me? Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. You know, I respect the first guy. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omnitool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. The splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and... In we go. Act casual. This could take a while. Drinks are... What are you having? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Fastian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari, they kick like a shotgun. Are you Khan's lawyer? 
I represented the casino once. Brutality suit. What's Khan like? Intense. Scares the hell out of his staff. But every now and then, he does some charity, like this. Does that make up for it? If what I hear about him is true, not remotely. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. Attention! Bets are locked! Attention! All bets are locked! Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? Come on, Tiger Bite! Bring it home! You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at a shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on him? Enough to pay for my kid's tuition. Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Follow the red wiring. I'm at Same a junction. Way, and I'll There's get a camera attention. and a guard. I'll just be here. Trying not to go. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. Say when, and I'll get his attention. Oh, I think I... I ate a steak meant for the Torians. Oh. Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal... You, tough guy? Perfect. I need an opinion on something from a B-lister or below. Houses with retractable roofs. Still in or too common? Your house has a retractable roof? Only the one on the Citadel. I gotta take care of it since the one on Earth got all Reaper-fied. Instead of remodeling, maybe you could invite a few refugees to come stay. Oh, I am totally on that. But finding the right one is hard, you know? So many of them don't have agents.
So, I don't know what the protocol is here, but when do you get off? I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm, but you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Arrows? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Rios. I feel like I should know that name. I did a little acting, then in the 70s during the Blitz, I was named Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. So I guess this kind of thing doesn't really impress you? Me? No. For the people who can get clothes because you bought a ticket? Much different story. Isn't the turnout amazing? Okay. I wasn't sure so now I think you just need to get out. to me. I'm People on the other side of the security have. gate. I feel right. so bad. Have your bypass the camera back there? If you need well, I got my side. Thing, Yours you is still on, me. though. We need to finish this before someone thing. comes by. But thanks. Hang tight. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how Follow the yellow wiring. Okay. Say when, and I'll get his attention. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky. I'm looking for the best. Just so you know. Are you the best? Have a little faith. I hear you right. You want me to join the Spectres. Good night, now. Go ahead. Feel my muscle. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Solid steel. I'm not sure I should feel your muscle, ma'am. It <clears throat> looks very nice, though. You have a good night, now. Got it. There we go. Gone. I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. I even got the ATM, too. I've never been able to get that before. What the hell? Can just anybody walk in here? I don't feel so special now. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You, I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash-talked me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? 
I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Too bad the host died. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. No, if I can just find some chow around here. You think a pad like this would be stocked? Right? I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? Fancy party? Check. Super sexy outfit? Check. Fights crime? Check. Well, almost. We got close. Damn close. I hope Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. At least you didn't come away empty-handed. Greetings, Commander. The casino will be home. Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No? Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach grumbling from here. Well, I can... Fix up the weapon, can I? your date. <laughs> Too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. I think we've got something, Commander. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost her chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you? They bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max? What do they need that kind of firepower for? 
It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <laughs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? Ahem. 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 Who's going to pay the bill? Ugh. Okay. We'll take Ashley. Then we'll take Garrus. Why not? We'll owe. No, 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 no. We'll take Rex. Why not, Rex? Why not? Shot for you, Rogan Battlemaster. Power fortification. Power fortification. There you go. Radius, duration, blam. There we go. Barrier. Recharge, why not? There we go. Radius. There we go. All right. What's the best way into the arc? The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! Oh, 
this again. Scatter and take cover. In the old days, we had at least five minutes before our mission went south. Someone brought the whole crew! Box them in! Shit, they've got a Krogan! Over here! Brooks, you okay? That's enough! Drop your weapon, so this won't end well for her. You bastard! All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. Hardly. I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. A clone? Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why are you trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Lieutenant Commander Williams. I would have picked the other one on Vermeer. Caden something? You're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Right. The cult of Shepard ends today. We're still gone, everyone? He's pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Okay, we are gonna check to see. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. There we go. Hey, 
this point, anything's possible. You mean like finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> right. At least not until we have a couple of drinks in us. How are we going to find anything in this place? Glyph. Yes, Commander? Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Fighting your own clone is pretty crazy, even by our standards. But useful. If there is a task you don't wish to do, Commander, let them handle it. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. So let your clone go. I shoot something once when you can shoot it 46 more times exactly the other me can't be far keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him let's move year 2157 ce first contact war turian interrogation vault t91 Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shang-Chi. A human? You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. 
A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. Attention. Think about all the history stored in this place. Must stretch back thousands of years. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Year 700 CE. Krogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Kredek's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rachni, you would all be at their mercy. You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry. Ambassador Critic, you only weaken your case with this show of violence. Wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over! Oh. Take him out! I wonder if Disruptor would be better. This is Hammerhead! <laughs> Someone can try! Where do you think you're going, Princess? Damn it! job, Ashley. I think we got them all. Or, I mean, the rest of you did. Or, the Krogan did. Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. On it. AIs, Vault C940. These are the last of the AIs in the Citadel. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the Council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go.
conclusion. Commander, I have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target, Glyph? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Stupid machine. Okay, I can't remember where to go. I know it was that way. I know that. Okay, here we go. Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now if that's okay with everyone. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. The next person who says that is fired. Online. It appears the other commander has a bad temper. Collateral damage does not concern him. Okay. Team Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? There's Team Mako. Shepard, you mess with me! Uncle Erdnott has a present for you! 
Uneventful. Pray goddess it remains so. We humbly take this step for all Asari, the destiny of our people forever altered. These creatures that greet us seem harmless but unable to communicate. Preliminary observations suggest that their role seems to be that of some sort of guardian. We will begin our exploration. Okay. Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? We're under! Mako, where are you? You're 2183CE. First Human Spectre Deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's his background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Earth and orphaned at an early age. He managed to survive on the streets until he was able to enlist at 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Many in the Alliance consider Shepard a war hero. On Elysium, for example, Shepard single-handedly repelled an attack and saved the entire squad. Thank you for your presentation and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. Okay. What's your status? The other U is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I've been hit. I need help. Please hurry. That can't be good. Brooks. The vault sealed us in. Is there an override? Not seeing one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... Well... Forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. Fair warning. Nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. <sighs> and yet they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were. Just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. And yeah, maybe I am trapped in here. But don't get comfortable. Because that bullseye on your back is getting bigger by the second. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it a shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer. Update Council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. 
accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Maybe we should be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever? How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. <sighs> Probably not a lot of air in here either. And our tops. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, we're in kind of a situation here. Hmm? Oh. Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. for Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. this what I wanted to go same here I almost never get picked Joker will come back for you I promise why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. What happens if we lose the Normandy? Couldn't we go to the Council and prove who you are? No good. He hacked the biometric logs. A scan will just prove that he's the real Shepard. Yes, that. And we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? One way or another, we're taking this bastard down. Damn right. You go kill the crap out of him. You. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others. ASAP. Right. They can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. Kill these guys!
know me, I don't know how to kill. discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me That's Decision Pro Mark IV. It uses mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember, because I'm the real shepherd. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you. Cerberus made a clone of Shepard. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. The Normandy's about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? I could try a biotic field, but I don't think I have the fine control required to trigger it. What? Uh. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Take him down yourself. Armory. Find him. Slow him down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. All right. Shepard. Later. Remind me later. Let's hope we don't end up in a firefight down here. This place is a murder hole. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Not 
the best place for a firefight. I promise not to charge you for the repair. Edie, this is the real Shepard. I need you to lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie, do you copy? They must have taken her offline. Let's get to the cargo bay. Take that. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now?
we got him. Special. Why you and not me? Shepard! We've got you. <sighs> Thanks. What about him? Here. Take my hand. And then? And then you live. From what? Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya, I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admitted. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more... No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape, come back for revenge. Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for his life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, he wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. Bitch. Yeah. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Well, as shore leave goes, this hasn't been the most relaxing. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Damn right. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Thanks to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. 
Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right. But when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call it for this video. Um, you know, sorry I didn't talk much. Sorry about that little glitch that we had where Trainer was trying to say, oh, you fired us. I'm thinking, um, everything online anymore. My internet had reset, and I'm thinking that's what the problem was. So, you know, but at least the game didn't freeze. So, anyway, hope you all had fun. I did, and the next episode we'll have a party. So, I'll see you all next episode.